What's up, YouTube? Today's August 23rd, 2016. Start off the show by shout out to Herman uh, over there in Uruguay, man. I hope you're doing your thing. Um, I know we, it's been a long time we haven't seen each other. It's been over 10 years. Uh, I know you're doing good things over there in Uruguay, man. Uh, keep taking care of those children, teaching them new things. Um, I just know I miss you. Someday, hopefully, we can catch up again. I'll see each other again, dude. All right, so uh, today is going to be dialysis talk three, focal segmental glomerosclerosis. I know I botched that up completely. We're just going to call it FSGS for short. Uh, what it is, is the disease I got diagnosed with when I was 13. I'm 24 years old now, so I've been fighting this disease, uh, you could say, for 11 years in October. Um, so to break it down... Focal stands for some, segmental stands for sections, glomerulo, sorry, of the kidneys, and sclerosis is are scarred. So some sections of the kidney are scarred. So how does that happen? Well, it's basically an autoimmune disease. Uh, my autoimmune system attacks my kidney filtration system, so it scars up my kidneys. And then I just produce too much protein in my urine. It's how they detected it, apparently. I uh, went to go get a physical for football and my eighth grade year, when I was 13, and they found too much protein in my urine. So uh, I guess I had to get rushed to the hospital. Uh, not rushed, uh, I had to make an appointment and they had to do a biopsy of my kidneys, which is where they make a needle. And they, I guess this is my back. And they put one needle, and then there goes another needle inside that needle. And it takes out a little microscopic piece of my kidney, and they do a biopsy on it under the microscope, and they saw that my kidneys were scarred. Um. It's a rare disease, about 5,400 people in America get it a year, uh, mostly found in African Americans and Asians, uh, not too much in children, so mine was even more super rare that it was found because I was still a child, technically, and I'm not African American or Asian, well, I guess I could be Asian descent, I'm from El Salvador, so I don't know where my lineage goes to, I could probably have African in me too. I don't know. Like I said, there's not that good record keeper in El Salvador, so I will never know what I am, I guess, unless I give a DNA test. That might make a good YouTube video. I might do that someday. I'm going to do a DNA test to see what I am composed of. All right, so back to what I was saying. Um, so I was pretty late uh, into the disease when they detected it. Uh, they try to put me under steroids uh, to try to get me into remission, but yeah, I guess it was too late. There was nothing much they could do. I was on the steroids for like three months. Uh, and let's see, I never really felt sick. Uh, let's say October ended, and let's see, the school year ended in May. I started freshman year in high school. I still wasn't feeling the effects of it. I could see physical changes in my body. My face was really swollen, so I was I looked like I was fat um, most of my uh, adolescent years. But I was retaining a lot of water because I couldn't pee as much as other people, so I always looked like I was fat. Um, so the physical changes, I could see those. Uh, I had some yellowing in my eyes sometimes to uh and my skin was always dry but i never really felt sick sick uh until uh i went to do tryouts for soccer my freshman year uh like before that i always used to be very active i used to run and jump and play and do everything that kids to do so i went to do the tryouts because i wanted to play soccer and it's not that i was out of shape it's just i couldn't I couldn't keep up with anybody. Like, I couldn't breathe when I was running. This is the first time I actually noticed that I was sick. I couldn't breathe. 
uh, I couldn't catch up with anybody. I felt sick from running maybe, what, 20 yards. I, cu I couldn't run 20 yards. Uh, it was embarrassing. I was so embarrassed. Like, like you don't even understand how embarrassing that was for me. Because uh, I never told anyone I was sick, so I guess everyone just thought I was fat and lazy, which wasn't really the case. I was just sick, and that's when it finally hit me that, wow. I'm actually sick, like, this is, this is it, I'm sick. Um, so I'm not going to go into all the details, that's going to be for another video of my disease. Uh, this is just what I was going to talk about, focal cemental humeral sclerosis. Um, let's see, there's no cure, no known cure for it right now. There's, I guess the steroids could be a treatment and it puts you into remission. From what I got at the hospital, they might have a cure for it. They don't know yet. So, like I said, it's a super rare disease. So, I guess there's not much research going into it as compared to other diseases where it's more uh, more common. Uh, so, eventually, your kidneys will go out with it. Um, and you're going to have to go on dialysis. That's my current situation. Uh, right now, I don't have FSGS. Uh, I could have traces of it in my uh, genes, I, you could say. Uh, I have uh, my body rejected my transplant kidney. I did have a transplant, and it got rejected two years ago. That one never got FSGS. So it looks like on my next transplant, it's very possible that I won't get FSGS. So... That's what I'm hoping for. Um, there's not much more I can say about this disease. Um, let's see. Like I said, it's mostly common in African Americans and Asians. Um, it's treated with steroids if it's detected early enough. So, let's see. Mm, yeah, that's, that's this disease. Uh, I think. It also is known to cause high blood pressure and high cholesterol in some cases. So that's other side effects of the disease. And like I said, uh, edema, which is a uh, swelling, uh, basically everything else that comes with kidney disease, cramps, dry skin. So that's dialysis talk three or tress. Uh, let's see. I'm about to stop this video. I think I'm done with dialysis talk three. Dialysis Talk 4 will be up uh, maybe tomorrow or the next day. I still have to do more gameplay video for Batman. Excuse me, sorry. Um. So, yeah. Uh, share this video with anyone you know that's going on dialysis. Uh, anyone that's going through kidney disease or anything. Anything at all. Cancer. Uh, I just want to help people out. Like I've been telling everybody in my videos. Uh, comment my videos. If you have questions, you can ask me. Uh, you can find me Twitter, Manuel Platero12, Facebook, uh, Manuel Platero. I'm on uh, YouTube, uh, not Snapchat. I'm on Instagram. I think I already said that, Manny Platero. And yeah, so Dialysis Talk 3. Uh, subscribe, like, and comment. Uh, still doing the giveaway for the. New Nintendo 3DS XL. Um, all you gotta do is subscribe. I'm gonna be doing. I don't know if you can see my games here uh, in the video. Probably not. I'm gonna do a uh, tour of my PlayStation 4 games in another video. So that's it. All right. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.